Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, President of the Republic of Zambia, addresses the nation on the drought response appeal. Fellow countrymen and women, local and international cooperating partners, as you know, Zambia has experienced extremely low rainfall this year, culminating in the worst drought that the country has experienced since records began. Climate change is now upon us, and it has brought increased frequency and intensity of extreme weather events such as drought and floods, in sometimes and sometimes in the same season. The effects of this drought were most clearly observed in the crop production, where one million hectares of the planted maize has been adversely affected across the 84 of our 116 districts across the country. Similarly, pasture availability has reduced for animals, while ground and surface water levels have also been impacted negatively. 9.8 million of our people have been adversely affected by this drought. Of these, 6.6 .6 million people are in need of urgent humanitarian assistance. On Thursday, 29th February 2024, we declared the country's drought as a national disaster and emergency. To respond to the adverse effects of the drought, emphasis is being placed on the provision of food assistance to the people in need as well as interventions for early recovery and the resilience building going forward. We are placing special focus on investments in water development for agriculture to produce more food and indeed energy production, as well as the provision of water to households, livestock and wildlife. In addition, there will be robust interventions in health, nutrition, tourism and protection of the citizenry as well as the environment and wildlife. Overall, in order to effectively implement immediate life-saving and life-sustaining humanitarian and recovery needs, a total of 23.5 billion Zambian kwacha, translating to 940.6 million United States dollars 
is urgently required. Of this amount, 1.3 billion Zambian kwacha, equivalent to 51.2 million United States dollars, is available, leaving a financing gap of 22.2 billion Zambian kwacha, which is equivalent to 889.4 million United States dollars. To be specific, 12.6 billion kwacha is required for immediate food assistance, out of which 28.3 million kwacha is available, leaving a gap of about 12.54 billion kwacha. For the education sector, particularly in expanding the school feeding program, a sum of 784 million kwacha is urgently required. In the health sector, 2.5 billion kwacha is required, out of which 51.7 million kwacha is available, leaving a gap of 2.45 billion kwacha. To protect the integrity and well-being of children under five, as well as pregnant women and new mothers, their nutritional needs will require a total of 532 million kwacha. Water resources development and management, a key pillar of early recovery and resilience building, will require 3.02 billion kwacha, out of which 569 million kwacha is available, leaving a funding gap of 2.4 billion kwacha. Agricultural production, as part of early recovery and the resilient building, will require 2.5 billion kwacha, an amount equivalent to the funding gap of this specific activity, since no resources are available for the proposed interventions. In fact, they needed interventions. Finally, livestock and wildlife preservation and well-being will require 1.7 billion kwacha, out of which 98 million kwacha is available, leaving a funding gap of 1.5 billion kwacha. Clearly, this is a difficult situation for our country. With a heavy heart, and on behalf of our government and the people of Zambia, we hereby appeal to the international community, our partners within the country, the private sector, the church, and indeed civil society organizations to support our plan financially and materially in mitigating the devastating effects of this drought. It is our firm belief that you, the various local and international partners, shall join hands with the government and the people of Zambia to alleviate this grave humanitarian situation and the other negative effects of this drought. May God bless us all. May God bless our country, Zambia. I thank you for your kind attention.
That was an address to the nation by Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, President of the Republic of Zambia, on the drought response 